Hello and welcome back this week on the Vega Baja Real Estate Talk with Ulrich here at the Televisión Vega Baja. Um, today we have a small change in our program because first we want to talk w uh, with um, about the lifestyle part and the second part will be then with the real estate experts because we will be out and about and we will be uh, with the real estate experts um, on their um, conference, um, the Vega Baja Association of Professional Real Estate Agents and we will, this as, we will have this as the second part. And the first part is something very, very interesting. Um, I was very um, thrilled actually with the idea when I, when I realized and when I saw it. And it's, um, it's, a, it's a theater group here in the Vega Baja area and it's the Studio 32. And I'm joined today um, by the chairman, Mr. Philip Wilson. Hello. And Mrs. Susan Silla Wilson, um, and she is the show director of Studio 32. Hello. Good morning. Um, Philip, you as the chairman of the theatre group, um, tell us a little bit about it, what you're exactly doing. Um, my, my role really is to, to, to oversee the, the committee and to, to try and drive the, the group forward. We've, we've been in existence for three and a half years now, and I took over as chairman last year. Um, have a strong committee, everybody's working hard towards putting the show together but maintaining the, the organisation on a, a firm, almost business level if you like, mm. so that uh, it, it enables us to do bigger and better things each time. Mm. But um, So obviously uh, behind a strong company there's a strong person or with a strong director <laughs> I guess, um, but what, what does Studio 32 do? So for the people um, on the TV screen to understand exactly, so a theatre group? We, we are a musical theatre group, we are um, the only big musical theatre company in the area, um, probably on most of the Costa Blanca. Um, where we differ as a company is that we were set up with the concept of bringing uh, full-scale musical theatre to the Costa Blanca. And there's very few uh, other groups that have done this in, in the past. So we look at doing uh, almost like West End musicals on the amateur stage over here on the Costa Blanca. Um, our previous productions have included Oklahoma, Fiddler on the Roof, and our current production, obviously, Mac and Mabel. Okay, this is what we will be talking about in a couple of minutes. Um, Susan Silla Wilson, the show director. Um, what exactly is your job, Susan? Right, I am. I'm part of the team that decides on which show we will do, um, which is suitable to our company, to our audience, and to our finances. <laughs> mm. Big problem. Mm. Um, when the show is chosen, then I have to audition people to take the roles. Um, I have a concept of the show, I have my own ideas about what the people should be doing in the show, and then I choreograph all the routines, I put the show together and rehearse them twice or three times a week until the final production. Mm -hmm. I also have a hand in uh, telling the costume department what I want and the scenery department what I want, so it's a general thing. Mm -hmm. um, we teach people a lot. Um, we have people who have never been on stage in their life until they arrive in Spain at 60 and suddenly decide they want to go onto the stage. So it's, it's a learning curve for them and I love teaching people and seeing the progress that they make. Mm. And we have a lot of people who have made a lot of progress in three and a half years mm. and they've learned to sing, dance and do some acting. Mm, very good. But Susan, um when you teach people, also Susan said not to talk too much about her, her, her past, let's say, but tell us, tell us a little bit. If you teach people, you have to know it. So what's exactly your, your, your past? Where do you come from? I was three years old when I started dancing. Wow. And at seven years old, I did my first professional shows. At 12 years old, I did my first professional pantomime, which was a, a three-month pantomime. And we weren't treated as children, we were treated as adults. So mm. we had to be there, do our best at every performance and get paid. Mm -hmm. And at 16, I went to theatre school. And for two years, I trained in every aspect of theatre. Singing, dancing, acting, stage management, lighting, costumes and makeup. Oh. And from there, I went into the theatre full time. Um, doing all sorts of things, really acting, singing, dancing 
did musicals, plays, pantomimes, summer reviews. And in between that, I did television work. And I did filming as well. Mm. Um, and then I was asked to direct an amateur production in 1976 uh, in England. I'd never directed amateurs before. And from then on, I directed about 100 shows. Wow. Wow. And this is now, obviously, when, when did you arrive to the Vega Baja? When, when did you arrive to here? 2000, 2013. 13. I couldn't remember. Well, I say, <laughs> really just recently. And, yes. um, and so immediately you couldn't, you couldn't <laughs> not do anything, not stop and retire. You, just, you do it now for fun. Yeah. Or, well, yes, for fun now. Mm. Yes, it, it was part of my income in England, but here it's for fun. Mm. And I, I'm so pleased that I'm doing it. Mm. Um, Having said I was going to retire, I don't think I'd have enjoyed retirement. Yes, Susan, so um, yeah. you, you're giving your knowledge to others, um, and this is a little bit the whole concept of Studio 32, isn't it, uh, Philip? Um, yes, giving, it giving away things, what it's, you know. And absolutely. Uh, it's um, the Studio 32 has really got a couple of, of foundation um, ideas. One was to bring full-scale musical theatre to audiences on the Costa Blanca. Secondly, to be able to, to give an opportunity for people to take part in that scale of, of, of musical theatre. And then finally, obviously, to be able to raise money for local charities, good causes, mm. and, and to put something back into the community. Mm. This was obviously one of the interesting topics I, 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 you know, I was interested in having you here talking about First of all, the activity as a, as a, um, a theatre group, um, but also about what you do with it. I mean, it's not a it's not a um, it's a company, but it's it's not a company. Well, it's a company that gives back to that's, the society. That's right. We we are we are a cultural association. Um, we're not a commercial company. So all of our profits we we look to um, give to to local charities. Um, mm. We perform in San Fulgencio, so, so we support the Alzheimer's Association there. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, we then help with the, the, the theatre that's there, um, with Caritas, and, and also um, recently with the, the local music school, um, giving a, a small donation to assist them in purchasing new instruments and mm -hmm. music. Oh, wow. So, that, that's, so you... you you, when you came down here, your your first idea, I guess, was to retire. Um, <laughs> Absolutely, to, yes. <laughs> well, well, when you when you realised that after, I guess, a couple of weeks or months at the late uh, at the latest, you, you you realized you all what you know, you can give it to others. And In, indeed, yeah. um, we, when we retired out here, I've been a musician all my life, so we've got hobbies that we we intend to doing. But to actually um, become involved in, in musical theatre out here wasn't uh, on our radar. Mm. It happened by chance. Mm. Both, both mm. very happy that it did. Mm. Um, it enables both of us to, to, to put our talents back into oh. helping people yeah. here and, and to giving people an opportunity to take part in mm. this sort of production. Mm. Yeah, I think and, and I think the Vega Baja can be very happy to have uh, to have uh, this also this quality of, of performance then because I mean if you you've uh, had this career, uh, Susan, and you can now teach others all about it. I mean this knowledge isn't you can't find this everywhere around here. So um, I think uh, I mean we will come to the point later on a little bit when we're talking about you know what if somebody out on the screen saying oh I, I'd like. To perform, and I, I could imagine to go into that, but we'll have a word a little bit more further on. But um, tell us a little bit about the um, Philip about this charity activities again, and, and what you know. When did it start, and, and what what have you been generating so far? Studio Thirty Two was set up in two thousand and thirteen, and the first production that we did was in November of that year, uh, Aladdin. Um, we're now on to our eighth. Production, wow. uh, Mac and Mabel, um, which goes on this week, and we are now at a point where we have just passed the twenty thousand euro mark in right. donations yeah. to charity in mm. three and a half years. Wow! So we're, we're very proud of we that. We can be very proud of that. Yes. Definitely, yeah. And um, we will continue to do that. We, we will continue to support um, AFA San Fulgencio during the course of this year and other local charities. Mm. Very good. Um, 
Philip came up with the name of the new um, program. Uh, uh, Susan, what what is what what's the name of it, and and what is it all about? Mac and Mabel. Mac and Mabel. Mac and Mabel is based on a true story, set in nineteen eleven to nineteen thirty eight. Max Sennett was a real-life um, producer and director of silent movies. Uh, way back in 1911, he met Mabel Normand, who was not an actress then. He made her an actress. She was 18 years old. And they had a, a very tempestuous love affair. Uh, he reminisces... The, the show actually starts in 1938, and he's looking back... Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Mabel died at 36. Um, but I'm not going to tell too much about yeah. that. <laughs> All the characters in the show um, are based on real characters who uh, were comedians or actors within the studio. Uh, Mac, uh, Ma ugh, sorry, Max Sennett directed Charlie Chaplin. Oh. And also the Keystone Cops were his idea and also custard pies in the face were mm -hmm. his idea. Mm -hmm. uh, so the show has lots of fun, it has lots of songs. People may not know the show, Mac and Mabel, but they will remember the music because in 1982 at the... Copenhagen. Cop no, Canada. Copenhagen. Copenhagen, sorry. <laughs> 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 at Copenhagen uh, World Championship, Torval and Dean ice skated to the overture of this show. Okay. So people will recognise the music. Mm, mm. Uh, but it's a fun, fun show. Lots of comedy, lots of lovely singing, lots of dancing, a little bit of tragedy. Oh, very good. Well, well I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> and this is, when is it coming up for Philip? Um, opening night, Wednesday the 31st of May. Uh, four performances through to Saturday this Saturday, so uh, okay. yeah, selling selling well, but um, mm -hmm. if anybody wants uh, last minute tickets, then uh, they can get in touch with us. Okay, perfect. And how many people, uh, Susan, are roughly on stage involved in the show? 37 people performing. Wow. And then we have a crew, um, backstage costumes, microphone people, lighting, sound, etc. Probably a crew of about another 30. Wow. So about 60, 70 people total involved yes. in that show. Yes. Very good. We have so, 100 members in total. Okay. But not all performing members. Yeah. Okay. But now we're coming to the point where we talk about who can be helping you, uh, who can come along if somebody wants and say, well, I have no idea about performing, but I might know about lighting, and I might yeah. know about um, audio or, 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 or filming yes. or whatever. So what, what type of people are you looking for, Philip? Well, we're looking for anyone that's, that's interested in helping either on stage or backstage, uh, not necessarily with experience. We've, we're quite happy to provide um, training in all aspects of, of, of theatre. Um, best thing that people can do, they can either contact us via our website, which is studio32, all in letters, oh, dot really? org. Okay. Um, or alternatively, we have an open day coming up, um, which is at uh, Casa Ventura in San Luis. Okay. The 6th of June at 6th 4 o'clock. Okay. Yes. Okay, everybody, everybody interested could go yes, there. Yes, they can come along, they, they can talk to Susan and I about any aspects of Studio 32, whether mm -hmm. they want to be in our next show, whether mm -hmm. they want to help backstage. Um, we're always looking for people to, to, to come along and help. Mm, very good. And Susan, um, if somebody ha says, well, I think I have a little bit of a talent for acting or dancing or performing or singing, um, what, you know, what, what, what do you think? Is, is there a, a good age to start with? Is there the right age? Or you say, well, I need to have a little bit more experience or, or what? No, we have, we have membership from the age of 15 up to 80. Wow. <laughs> um, a lot of them don't have experience, but they have been taught how to stagecraft and how to do things. Um, if they want to go for a lead part or, or a part in the show, then they have to do an audition. Mm -hmm. If they want to be in the chorus or dancer, dancers have to do an audition. The chorus, we usually accept most people. Okay. Yeah, the only mm. reason we wouldn't is if there was a problem with them as a person. Okay, well, <laughs> but mainly we accept people into the chorus 
and then they learn from there. Mm-hmm. So there's no, you don't have to be trained at all. And the same thing with backstage and lighting and sound. We are quite prepared to give training to people. Okay. Well, coming back to um, Mac and Mabel, um, how long does it take to prepare? Um, well, we, we did the auditions in January. Mm-hmm. And they've been rehearsing twice a week uh, till now. Um, my, two of my principals, Mac and Mabel, have got, they are enormous roles. And um, they've rehearsed with me an extra day a week as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so the whole show, I suppose, takes five months in total. Mm-hmm. Prior to the auditions happening, I've actually been working on the show for two months before that. I'm now working on the next show. Oh, wow. <laughs> when will this come up then? Uh, the end of November, beginning of December. Okay. And we're doing a favourite of lots of people. We're doing a musical called White Christmas mm-hmm. that in the film was Bill Crosby mm-hmm. and Danny Kaye. Mm-hmm. So a lot of our older audience will remember that film with absolute loving thoughts. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> Okay, um, so we, we basically have from the 31st of May to the 3rd of June, um, Megan Mabel coming up, um, but you do also rehearsals, so will this be repeated during the summer, or is it this bit? And no, no, once, 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 once this show has, has run um, in June, then we move on to our next show, yeah. and we do, we'll do audition in June, and mm. we'll do a small amount of rehearsals in July and take a summer break Mm -hmm. and then we come back and it's full on until Mm -hmm. the winter show goes on Mm -hmm. which is the end of November, beginning of December. Mm -hmm. Um, Philip, if if there is so many people like six teachers on on backstage and on stage for for, uh, one performance um, or for one show, um, it's it's a huge social life as well around around Studio 32 so I guess uh, this is just the people that are directly involved, but I guess there is more people also indirectly involved paneling them. There are indeed. Um, We have a a very happy group. Um, It is like an extended family. Um, And part of being in the company is we we have social events outside of rehearsals. Mm. And you you find that people are there to help each other out when there are problems. Um, And we do pull together as as one big extended family, which is is a delight. Mm. Perfect. So I wish you all the very best for, for Mac and Marvel coming up on the 31st. Um, still some tickets left, I, as we heard. Um, so There are indeed. Um, if, if anybody wants to, to ring up at the last minute for tickets, the number is 602-454-033. Or they can email tickets at studio32.org. Or just go on the website. Where just you go on the website and send me an email. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, if somebody wants to come become a member of Studio 32, how does this work? What's, what's, uh... Well, again, they can, they can contact us via our website um, or, uh, as I was saying, you know, we, we do have a, an open day coming up. They can come along and meet us and mm. see if it's for them, mm-hmm. um, see if they're interested and, mm-hmm. and talk about both the company, um, the people and, and our next show. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Thank you ever so much for being here today. It was a real pleasure. Thank it was something you. I was Thank very much looking forward to. And um, so if you back home want, want to see the show, um, Mac and Marble, um, it is in the theatres in San Fulgencio, um, Cardinal... Cardinal Beluga. Beluga Theatre in San Fulgencio. Um, go to the website, get, get registered, get your tickets and, and go there. Um, this is if... And I just want to take a chance. If you run your own society, um, charity uh, organization or whatsoever, or theatre, music or sports group, and you want to be on the show as well, just contact us here at Television Vega Baja and uh, you might be the next guest on the show. Um, for today, that's it. Um, next week, we we back and um, now we are going off, off the studios and we will be joining the Asi Vega um, Real Estate Association out in the Hotel La Laguna in Rojales. So see you, see you very soon.
So here I am out of the studios of the Televisión Vega Baja, and I'm um, joining the Association of Real Estate Agents in the Vega Baja area, ASI Vega, who are holding their annual meeting here. It's a training networking event, and um, we are guests here today. And it's very interesting to see how many real estate agents are gathering together to receive information, formation as well, and networking. So the whole lot in a one-day event. We have three representatives. On, uh, on the plateau, which is recently um, introducing this event, and there it is now. And is um, we, we will be talking with with some of the agencies again in some interviews, and we will also talk to some of the keynote speakers. So it's um, it's training from the morning until the late evening. It's a party afterwards, and it's a it's a great day out for them. And um, so I hope you enjoy it as well and uh, get some some useful information out of this. And you see that um, in the Vega Baja area there is a professional real estate association with professional trained real estate agents and that's the key for you so if you're looking out to sell or buy a property Asivega is probably the right place to go to enjoy it We are with Monza Gomez. Um, she's a keynote speaker on the event on the Jornada de Immobiliaria. And um, hello, Monza, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, Monza, um, what exactly will you be talking about to the agencies? I have been invited by Acevega and I have been explaining them all the legal aspects of the real estate, estate property uh, situation nowadays. Okay, so there's many laws are changing, so we have um, every year, every month sometimes there's new laws coming out, and that is, is very important the agents know about it. Yeah, that's uh, what I mean, because they actually uh, need these uh, changes to be explained by an expert, because as you say, there's a constant change regarding the law and the application of the law and the ways you can proceed or not, and that's quite interesting for them, not only for them to know themselves, but also to be explained to the clients. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because they are very often the, the first point of, of information, so they need to they need to be up to date on all the in, on all the, the laws. Um, what what was your impression about the the whole event? What's your what's your impression? Actually, uh, I was uh, very surprised because I was thinking about something just very focused, just about real estate property itself. But to my surprise, it was uh, a general view about all different aspects. I mean, not only real property, but legal side, marketing, coach. So really interesting even uh, for us, for the lawyers. Okay, very good. So that was Monza Gomez, a keynote speaker here at the event. Let's see who is next. one of the many, many agencies here in the Congress. And let's see what that Benedict has to say. Hi, Benedict. Hi, hi. Hi, Ulrich. Hi. Um, what, what, what's your impression about this um, Congress of Asivega? Well, I think it's a very good turnout, and it's good to see all such smiley faces here today, and uh, good to see new faces as well as the ones from last year. And uh, it's good, been a very good day so far. We've learned new things. Uh, we've updated things that we heard a bit about during the last month, some new fiscal things as well. So it's been really good, yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. And, and uh, so that's, we're, we're in the midday break, so there's, there's more topics coming now in the afternoon, and afterwards I think there's some fun, fun events as well. Yes, there will be, and uh, we're looking forward to it to see what uh, what more we can learn today. Okay. Yeah, it'll be great. Thank you very much, Benedict. Enjoy the rest of the of the journey. Thank you. I will. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Was Faris. Uh, Faris is a new agent in Asivega, which you said. And uh, Faris, hello, how are you? Hi, hi. W where are you based exactly? I'm based in Dolores. In Dolores. And uh, so you are new to Asivega. What's your impressions? 
my first impression that I'm very good and uh, I'm within a group of professionals and uh, I'm quite happy and I'm looking forward to to work within the group and hopefully I will uh, both um, get successful. Okay, very good. So, so joining Asi Vega so far was a very good decision for you? Definitely, uh, no doubt whatsoever. Okay, that's great. And Faris, it's obviously your first seminar then in Asi Vega. What's your impression about the organization, about the, the event as such? Again, I think it's very professional, uh, very interesting. I've learned a lot of, uh, and I think it's positive all the way. That's great. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the, of the event and uh, all the best. Thank you. Anna and Israel, um, both not agencies in Asilega, but they might join soon. <laughs> so, Anna, what's your impression about the event so far? Okay, the first that I would like to say that it was great idea to make this uh, kind of formation mm -hmm. for our kinds of uh, activities. It's the first time that I'm here, and I'm really impressed. <laughs> and. What I can say is that it's a good opportunity to, to know each other because I did not know all of the representatives of the other companies. And it's just to um, act and change our experience and why we are talking each other. For example, I get very interesting ideas for the future, how we can um, to make our business easy maybe to get much more clients, and I think that it's a great opportunity for all of us. Okay, great, Isa, what about you? What, what, about, what do you get out of the event for yourself, for your company, and to pass it on to your clients? I think it's important to be trained all the time. Estate agents, the market changes all the time. You have to keep up with all the changes, um, the future, et cetera, et cetera. When you, have, when you participate in these kind of events, you meet other people, obviously, other state agents, and just like ourselves, we are thinking about joining Apsi Vega. The reason why we're doing it, because Apsi Vega is a big, com well, it's a big group of state agents, and the partnership, I think, is brilliant. It's good for the client, for the buyer, it's good for the buyer, and good for the seller. So being part of a, a company, I think, is, is a great, it's a great idea. And this day has been great. It's been great. We've been having food, so we're very happy about it. <laughs> and there is more to come now in the afternoon sessions, interesting topics, and then there is some, some nice event after. Yeah, DJ, remember, go <laughs> on fiesta, remember, yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah. Party later on. yeah but um, I'm not sure that I will stay for the party because for me, much more important the first part. But in any case, I think that um, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. And it's a good idea that when. We, you or this organization make it not only to get information. They put music. Um, they try to bring people who are make it um, more funny, because we don't want to stay uh, eight hours just listening and it, it's boring. Yeah. And really, I was really happy and it was like, oh, it's very interesting. It's we are laughing a lot and it's good impression. Like we are positive. I'm more positive now uh, than in, in the morning. <laughs> That's great, and every, every time you have more information, or you you are um, you, you are funny and you are, you're relaxed, you you absorb the information much better, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for your time, and enjoy, enjoy the event. Thank okay, you. Ahí, desde luego, el 34% de los agentes han visto que el home staging funciona y en todas sus actuaciones las están aplicando. Aquí en España estamos reeducando ahora el mercado, está empezando, pero lo hablaba antes con Bruto here we are, right in the middle of the conference. In the background, you see one of the, or you can hear her, one of the um, keynote speakers. It's Karen Manzanas talking about the very interesting and, and more and more getting uh, important topic um, every day. Um, it's home staging. And we will have her on the microphone a, bit, a little bit later on. But you see the interest there is in this very important topic. And um, it's very fascinating how a house changes before and after this process of home staging. Thank you. 
de que no solo la vivienda, sino cualquier cosa que vayamos a comprar, incluso la comida de los Estados Unidos, aún la vez. Bueno, siempre hay ejemplos nuestros de la oficina, ¿vale? Para que veáis un poco. Este tipo de pisos lo tenemos un montón en toda la Son de los pisos antiguos, con el suelo de terraza, como vemos que con el puntero mejor. Porque si no igual se acopla, ¿eh? Con el suelo de terraza, bueno, las lamparitas ya las veis, de estas de, de, de visillo, súper, súper agobiado de muebles. Entonces, esta casa. Necesitaban eso. Bueno, os comentaré luego en los casos prácticos qué es lo que hemos hecho, ¿vale? Pero esta casa, por ejemplo, estuvo a la venta cuatro meses, estaba pegadita a la playa, la vendió Estefano. ¿Dónde está Estefano? Ahí no, la vendió Estefano. Eh, pero no, no, o sea, estaba tal y como estaba. Entonces lo que decidimos fue, bueno, pues explicarle a la propietaria que había que hacer un proyecto de home staging en la casa y darle un poco un aire más actual. Entonces, eso es como dejamos la casa. Realmente se reutilizó absolutamente todo lo que había en la casa. Se pintó, eso sí. Y todos los muebles los usamos, simplemente los distribuimos mejor. ¿sí? Eh, y bueno, y le dimos un poco de ligereza. ¿sí? Lo que era los, cambiamos las, la, las lámparas, ¿sí? pero bueno, esta, realmente la preparamos para que fuera más atractiva. ¿vale? Entonces, por no meteros mucho rollo, ¿sí? el joven Stegin surgió en Estados Unidos en 1970, fue Barbara Schwartz, una mujer que se dedicaba al tema inmobiliario y que ella pues, de, empezó a vender. No, you know the following lady already. She's been with us already in previous programs, and it's Karen Manzanas from Bloom Home Staging. And Karen was a keynote speaker on the event as well. Um, hello, Karen. Hi, Rich. So, um, what was it you were talking about? Obviously, your main topic, home staging. Yeah, it was about preparing the properties in the right way to be more saleable mm, and to get yeah, a quicker buyer and for a better price. Mm. So what do you think? It's been many agencies listening to you. What, what was the response? What was the feedback? What do you think? Um, well, I think many of them that are already uh, doing somehow yeah, some home staging. This is a little bit more yeah, getting into details and uh, more in deep. Mm. Uh, but uh, everyone was quite interested on it. Uh, we also did a training course yeah, some years ago regarding this subject. And I think slowly yeah, everyone is incorporating this service as part of yeah, the portfolio service yeah, for the agencies. Mm. So there's hardly any property. Well, there is still properties where, but you, you really stick out of the of the crowd when you when you have your property home stage. Yeah, that's the main reason yeah for doing it. And there's a, there's still in Trujillo quite a lot of properties in the market, so we have to yeah to stand out of the crowd. And by doing home staging in the properties is the best way yeah to do it. Mm. Okay, thank you very much for your time and enjoy the rest of the. Thanks. <laughs> eh, luego hay que presentarle los cambios al cliente del antes y después. Entonces bueno que si tenéis proyectos que los tengáis para poder para que el cliente vea que sobre todo estadísticas ¿no? al final lo que nos convence son los números y sobre todo un vendedor entonces esta casa se valoraba en esto antes de hacer el home y esta casa se vendió después de hacer el home en este importe y en los días de, que estuvo a la venta fueron tantos días esos son los números que realmente convencen We've heard, we've heard legal topics we've heard um, marketing so what was what was you what was most interesting for you well I think the most interesting uh, for me is to be updated in the um, uh, environment in Torre Vieja, what is going on about the law and uh, which techniques can help me to sell more houses and to help our, our clients, of course. Yeah, because at the end of the day, all the information you gather together today is basically to pass it on to your clients. Yeah, I think everything was very important, everything, yeah. especially the marketing in SEO, and uh, what you call cap uh, captaciones. Yeah. It's very important. Uh, that's it's now 2017, and everything is changing. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get updated every time. So every and, and this event is just one of the best events you can you can come to, isn't it? Yes, I I'm sure we are going to be more date and uh, we hope that uh, Asivera can. Uh, uh, make more courses like this to not just to the members but to everyone in the, in the area. Thanks very much. Enjoy the rest of the of the show.
So it's not only real estate agents, it's also lawyers uh, who join the event, and I, I'm here with one of them. Um, how, how is the event for you going? Well, at the moment, it has been very, very good because we have had all kind of people talking about, well, different material. In our case, we have been speaking about, um, well, news we have in law, trying to, to do it easy, trying to do as close as possible also to the state agents, because sometimes in law, uh, the vocabulary is quite complicated, and we have, as I said, tried to make it as close as possible. Because you are working very closely with real estate agencies, so national and international, so this event is for you also a good point to come together? Absolutely, yes, especially because, well, also most of our clients in this area are foreigners, English-speaking, French-speaking, so um, in our office we are English-speaking and French-speaking too, so... Okay, that's very good. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest. Thank you. So we are just more past the midday break, and uh, here we are again. And uh, Nadia, that's uh, um, what, what's your what's your impression so far? Yeah, I think you just you just arrived, haven't you? So what what, what are you expecting for the afternoon session? Uh, I expect to get new information because it's very important. Uh, we work with people, give information all the time, so it's very important to be as, uh, um, so much uh, updated uh, if it's possible. No? Mm -hmm. So I think the afternoon topics are home staging mm -hmm. and um, photography. So how important is home staging nowadays for the for the for the sale of property? Mm -hmm. I think it's very important uh, because uh, some houses need. Uh, a new look and so it's important to make it better and uh, give uh, the vendors all the possibilities to sell as soon or as good as possible. Great, so enjoy the rest of the afternoon session and uh, later on there is uh, I think also some, some kind of fun session in the, in the evening? Uh, yes, <laughs> why not? <laughs> okay, so enjoy, thank you very much. ago, is that right? Uh, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, Maria Elena, what's your impression? We, we've, uh, you've done this more than once, uh, the, the, the Jornada Immobiliaria. Um, what, what is your impression about how is it progressing? I think for everybody, agents, and uh, it's really important uh, to be here because every day there are new things, uh, every day we are new laws. And today, this afternoon, we are really uh, a very special uh, lady with a nice uh, product, is the home standing. So I think for everybody, it's really important if they want to sell in a property, to look before if the property is in a good condition or not. So for this, I think this is really important to be every day, uh, at least, with the news uh, impressions from the market. 
Okay. And the event is getting bigger and bigger. There is every time there is more agencies joining. I suppose the the event as such, but also the association. Of course, of course, yes. Yes. And the more the more that people there are in the association, the more uh, real estate agents join Asivega, the better it is. Not only for the agency, but for the for the for the client, for the for the buyer and seller. For the client, for the seller, this is really important. Not to have only somebody coming to your property and say, "I want to sell in your property." You need to give more every day, uh, not alone uh, a sign. So if you can say, I want to be here for you to sell your property, uh, make a home stay, make nice, uh, put beautiful. So I think this is really important f for the seller. Yes. And with the Civega now, I think this is the best and uh, trust us. Yes. Perfect. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest. The afternoon session is just about to start and with me is one of the oldest members in Asivega, uh, right from here from the beginning, Anna um, Baye. Uh, Anna, how is it going? How is the, how is the uh, seminar going? Well, um, just for the for the fact of uh, being here all together with uh, um, colleagues that uh, who have uh, became to friends with with the pass of the years and, and the time, uh, of course, this is a great day. And also, uh, of course, um, we have a really high quality information that we received today here in all kind of um, all kind of. of of areas, yeah. Uh, starting from, we had a, um, a seminar from uh, solicitors talking about very actual uh, questions and very important that how we can find against against some um, taxes, against some uh, clauses from the banks, etc. We also had uh, a very very interesting um, seminar from Jose Pomares talking about uh, uh, motivation. motivation, personal motivation. Yes good for uh, real estate agents but good for anyone who, who can look at it and if you have the, the, the opportunity mm -hmm. and well really a, a high quality and and let's let's see what else becomes today So that was it from the conference of the professional real estate agencies here in the Vega Baja area, ASI Vega. You heard some of the agencies saying how, how much they enjoyed, how useful the event is. It's a it's a full day training course, and um, they they will they will now they will go out and enjoy the rest of the day uh, with a, with an evening party. And um, I hope you will be back next week with some more interesting topics on real estate and lifestyle here in the Vega Baja area. And if you are a professional real estate agent or a professional service provider here in the Vega Baja area for real estate, you can get in contact with us and you might have an interesting topic we want to cover in one of the next shows. Thank you very much and for watching and I see you next week. Yeah.